here is a group of check buttons and each check button is associated with a numeric value so this i cannot exceed the sum of these values to more than 10 so if i select 1 and then i select 7 i am not allowed that but i am i can go for any other combination where value is less i can uncheck this go for 1 go for then 2 go for then 3 i am still allowed but I, I can go select even the fourth one because the sum is just 10 it not exceeded but I can't select the further so this is way we are we cannot rest the restriction is not based on the number of check boxes it is based on the sum of the value of the check boxes this is our basic template with a group of check boxes note that all these check boxes has a name as uh, ckb or the common name for all the check boxes but the values are different it is one to eight to a value we have given to each uh, check box now on click they are all uh, executing one common function check control and passing on the which one is clicked so g first one will pass on zero one two like this so that we know that which one was the last the user has clicked so that is the purpose we are passing on and all these values we are written here for our understanding let's see the output the output looks like this here you can see all the check boxes some cannot see here the total sum will be below that will be displayed now this on click this function will code now inside the script tag i'll write the function first so function the name is we have already seen check control now it takes the input j j says that which checkbox is clicked by the user the last checkbox what is clicked that's we are more important now let's declare sum equal to zero so this will be monitoring it for i equal to zero now we'll be looping through all the check boxes so i is less than we'll say document document form one it's the name of the form we have used ckb is the check boxes we have used the name part that length length property we have used used to find out how many what is the total number of uh, check boxes here it is 8 so it will take the value of 8 we are directly reading it instead of writing 8 here so you can easily add one more check box if you want so now i plus plus fine now you are inside the for loop now inside the for loop we will checking the uh, check box status if document now form 1 ckb and within this i means we are i will take the value 0 1 2 3 4 like that so we are checking all the values checked if it is checked what happens now i first i will say sum equal to sum plus now i will because all the values i want to read whatever the user has checked but here the issue is the value is a numeric value but they will be considered as string only i had to convert it to integer first by using parse int this function will convert the values to integer now inside that i will read the value now document now form one dot ckb now the particularly value i am reading value now this will tell me uh, this will add up to the uh, sum to uh, some value will go on incrementing based on the number of number of the check boxes not number the value of associated with the checked check boxes that's more important so here it is a value now let's come out of the if block and uh, now everything the for loop ends here here we'll write it inside this we'll say mm, no before that inside the for loop will dynamically will be changing it so we'll say document get that message will say that uh, what is the number of check boxes check check that will say so we'll say document get element by id now this is the message we are message uh, div tag we have used so inside that inner html so this is what we will be telling it equal to sum sum uh, this value equal to we'll say plus sum so we are taking the value here now fine so sorry it is not sorry, it is sum okay now this is we have given now inside this what you will do we'll say that sum is if sum is greater than 10 we are putting the limit here if sum is greater than 10 
then two things it has to do now what it will do the last uh, uh, checkbox value it has to deduct it has to remove equal to some minus now let me just copy this but think is i will not use directly that uh, to change it because the last one is not i it is the j j is the last one value i'll remove it so now again second thing what i will do now and that also i will remove or uh, i'll uncheck it document form 1 kbj checked equal to false so because i am not allowing the once it is exceeded the most recent one whatever is checked that should be uh, removed now one more thing i have to do also i will give a lot message saying that some of the some can't exit so we'll say anything some can't exit 10 you whatever message you want to give you give that message now what happened this is fine we are come out of this now uh, always i will be writing what the sum value is document get element by id now i will say again message dot inner html equal to we'll say sum sorry sum plus sum so that's all let's see how it works i refreshed it allowed now let me go a bit more some can't exit and here is a ok button i am not allowing now let me change this combination i'll instead of 8 i'll start from low value of 1 then 2 i am allowed 3 i am allowed 4 also allowed because some just reach 10 anything beyond that if i'll go some can't exit 10 here is the ok button so i can what i can do i can uncheck a lot of things and i can still go for one more so i can go for 5 5 so some is 8 now so nothing more will be allowed anything i click it will be so let me just remove one and allow three so now sum is nine so i can't exceed go beyond i will be not allowed so this is how based on the value we can restrict the checkboxes not based on the number of checkboxes